Good morning, everyone. Front's coming up. We had a lot of rain yesterday. And um, see my attempt at a designer pot. I actually have a blue pot that I wanted to put up there. I couldn't find it. Use this one. And as soon as I did this, I found the blue pot. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll fix it. Maybe I won't. But, <clears throat> for this morning, I have a story. And while I tell you the story, we can watch oh, the little baby goats not do anything. Hi, guys. How are you? You can get big old me out of there. Hello. <clears throat> They've been out here. This is like one full day. And they're done. I have to move this later. But this is a story about... See, I had it along the edge of the house. And like a... A dog bone kind of thing going on and then they'll go up into the middle there so anyway <clears throat> this is how my day started I was sleeping peacefully yesterday was Sunday and I didn't do a full day of stuff just here and there oddball things <clears throat> so this morning sleeping peacefully beautiful day as you can see nothing going on I was watching out my window there were three tiny birds attacking a big bird it looked like it might have been a crow but apparently it was trying to rob a nest <laughs> and they were fighting it off so I was getting a little bit of enjoyment out of that watching the underdog win and my phone rang and it was from the city and I'm like why would the city be calling me? That's such an unusual thing on a Monday morning. Not everybody has that happen. I don't work for the government. I don't work for the city. But I did answer it. <clears throat> I was thoroughly thinking that it was probably a telemarketer. You know, with one of those where they reassign the name. <clears throat> well, it wasn't. It actually was from the city. And it actually was Warwick Police. And it actually was my first actual call from Animal Control this year. Oh, Lucy's shedding. She got clumps of fur coming off. That's good. That's a, a sure sign of spring. They don't start shedding. Anyway, <clears throat> my first actual phone call from... What are you chewing? You like a cat for bowls? Okay. Well, anyway. Um, <laughs> they call me. And what it is, I got my first citizen complaint about the goats. The goats have been over at the farm. And today, later on, I'm going to post a video of how I tie them up. Because um, I found a way that works very, very well. It's very easy to do. And... It's like one, two, three, you can move them around, no problem. So it keeps the fences clear over at the farm, and that's what they do. But the reason why this is such an unusual call, because in the spring, even the dog officer said, must be spring, <laughs> you know. I have no problem with you, but you know how people can be. As soon as they see the dog, the goat, the dogs, yeah. The goats tied up out there, they say, oh, the poor things are out there no food or water it's surrounded by green and buckets of water there but they have no food and no water they don't understand that the goats eat the grass and the hay and the weeds and the leaves <clears throat> they don't need buckets of grain and if you see goats please do not feed them grain or corn or anything without asking the person who owns them because very easily you could kill them i digress this guy that called I ran right over. I mean, I was still on the phone with animal control and I was already at the farm. And he's like, there's no problem with you, but this guy's there. He says, in fact, if he gives you a hard time, because apparently this guy was giving them a hard time. So if he gives you a hard time, give us a call and we'll send an officer right over. So I said, okay. I go and I try to talk to the guy. He's busy on the phone. He wants to ignore me. 
apparently he has goats too from somewhere but he comes by here all the time if he comes by you all the time I don't know why he just noticed it today but then again it's a Monday morning what do I know well for some reason this guy thought that mayhem was a sacrificial goat I guess as in witch and Wiccan kind of thing I don't even think that they do that I don't know if they used to I don't know anything about that kind of thing but I do know that people used to sacrifice goats and lambs and all that kind of thing and apparently that's what this guy thought that mayhem was out there eating his way in the field because he was sacrificial and I just had to stop for a second and I I had to have one of those looks on my face like what the huh? and I went okay well thank you for your concern I've talked to animal control and they're out here all the time checking on them there's no problem um, <clears throat> but if you ever have a problem you know, feel free to call them and they will contact me and I'll be here like right away all right thank you very much because now if this is the way this guy thinks guess what I want to beat my little feet out of there so <laughs> I decided while I was there that I would also move flower and willow these two are aren't they boring <sighs> my landscapers this is what how they act not even working they're just standing there looking at me oh I don't know anyway um back to my story <laughs> I go to move the other two since I was there and Steve came down <clears throat> because I had to move my car for um, the water department was going to turn the water on at the farm today yay so we have city water and well water now so that's good <sighs> spring has finally arrived so I was telling him that this guy I got my first official call from Animal Control, which he always thinks is kind of funny. He says, you must be on speed dial, which I probably am because they call me, the, hi, is this Kathy? It's not Miss Schofield. It's not anything. It's not are you or any, it's like, hi, is this Kathy? <laughs> so you can tell when you're on a first name basis with Animal Control. I think that's a good thing. It shows that this city is on top of things and they do keep an eye out and I am thoroughly glad for people keeping an eye on other animals and things although there's a dog across the street that I wish they could do something about however they can't so anyway I digress again <laughs> there we go go do something or don't I don't know anyway but I am glad for animal control here because they do pay attention, they do an outstanding job, and they don't get all excited when there's no need to. And more importantly, if you have animals and you're not wrong, they do stand behind you. And they got your back. So I am very, very glad of that. Whenever, I've never heard of a thing when they said, if the guy's giving you a problem, we'll send an officer. It's like, that's awesome. Because they, I think he does remember, I don't think it was the same one, but he's, they, he's probably heard the story of when I had, I had like 20 goats at one time. And after I broke my knee, I had to get rid of a bunch of them. Because guess what? Broken knee, you can't take care of 20 goats all by yourself. And two old people. At the time, I was taking care of old people, too. So, I had them overeating at the farm, and somebody got the brilliant idea to tie up the babies. Now, see, babies will not go more than 15 or 20 feet from the mother. So, the mother was on a run, and the babies were loose. And some jackass, and yes, I will say jackass, got the bright idea to tie them up to a bush of all things you can't even tie an adult to a bush all right because they get tangled up and it turns up to be a mess and the babies aren't used to even being on like 
leads or anything yet. It takes time for you to get them used to that. You can't just go tying them up and expect them to be okay. Well, somebody tied up four of my babies and I got dog officer on my door banging it because I had four dead baby goats tied up to a bush and they wanted to know what the hmm was going on. And I went over, I was absolutely beside myself and it's like, first of all, who the tied them up? And you could see it wasn't, I use a certain kind of rope. It's readily available, but it's like for anchors so that it doesn't like, rot in the weather and stuff like that. It's red, it's an anchor line. That's what I use. These things were tied up with a little black cord like, um, you would get for a, an awning or something. You know that black nylon cord? That's what they were tied up with. <clears throat> so anyway, he was there. They know the story. So babies don't go to the farm anymore. Only for the plant sale. Yes, they will be there for the plant sale, but that's it. And they're behind a fence where people can't touch them. And yes, the fence will zap you. Over there, I will take the strong fence. We're not supposed to because it's not supposed to be electrified because it's public property. But guess what? If I'm over there and I have them on display and you're not supposed to touch them, they're going to be behind an electric fence and I don't care. If they tell me to shut it off and disconnect it, I will. But so far, haven't had a problem. And we've been doing it for almost 10 years now. Just in case you didn't hear that, 10 years. So anyway, so, I do not have sacrificial goats. I don't just leave them over there for n nothing. They do have water. They do have food. I do take and hand feed them minerals because it makes no sense to put a bucket of mineral over there where they're going to dump it over. I just go hand feed them. That way I know how much each one is getting. If they want it, if they don't, I can keep track. Any little snacks, they do. They get their copper and they get all their supplements. Anything they have to eat is in a banana. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. That's the best way I've found. So, stuff their stuff in banana. So, let me pause this for one second. Just a guy walking by, that's all. Cindy and Gigi being the attack dogs. And, um, oh, I will do a story on that also. Cindy has a brain tumor. Um, it was questionable whether it was a stroke or a brain tumor. And in going over records and talking with the vet again, um, we're leaning towards brain tumor. I will explain that because it was the farthest thing from my mind, but that's a story for another day. And this story is long enough, so that's it for today. Hopefully these guys will jump at some time, and I'm going to make a compilation of baby goat jumping pictures sometime. But hope everybody has a good day, and... Almost. We almost had jumping goat there because he was sniffing the fence. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm such a horrible person. Uh, sometimes it's interesting when they get a little zap. It's like, whoa. It does not hurt. This fence here is just enough to deter them. It's not... Uh, it's, it's not bad. So, anyway. Once again, hope everybody has a good day. And take care. Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>